All right, so what wisdom from the Rebbe for today? So although we find that all the Rabbeim, all of the Chabad Rebbes, were a continuation of one from the previous, and all of them really were this, doing the same job, we find that every single one of the Rabbeim had their specific idea, which was most relevant to them. As we find in the Gemara, that one of the Amirayim was asked, what mitzvah was your father extra careful about? Although obviously his father did all of the mitzvahs, but there's one mitzvah, one idea, which is his central idea with, through which everything else goes through. And that's who he really represents. As we also find by all the Rab Rabbeim, that the Baal Shem Tov and the Magid represent the sphere of Keser. The Alter Rebbe represents Chachma, the Middle Rebbe Bina, and etc. So we see that all the Rabbeim are one long continuation, yet each one of them has a con part of the previous Sadiq, but his main idea is one of the specific things. And that's what we find by all the Rabbeim in general. Same is true by the Rebbe and the Friedrich Rebbe who were celebrating on Yud Shvat. That the Friedrich Rebbe was always very careful about the idea that things should affect in actuality, not just stay in, in intellectually. And therefore he would go out to every single person and help them out, no matter who it is. It could be somebody who is a big learned person, it could be someone who's very simple, it could be a businessman, it could be someone who's on a very, very low level. The Rebbe would go and help them out physically and spiritually. Starting off with physically, even if it doesn't necessarily seem to lead to spirituality. Because when a person becomes warmed up, it will end up bringing him to spirituality as well. And this is what we're taught from Meshur Rabbeinu. That after Meshur Rabbeinu saved the Jewish people from a major war, and they fought a war and they won, then Meshur Rabbeinu was willing to rebuke the Jewish people. Because first you have to be, bring another person in. Be nice to him. Be kind to him. Create a connection with him. Then he'll be willing to listen to you and what you have to be able to help him out. This is also what the Friedrich Rebbe told somebody. When somebody asked the Friedrich Rebbe, how are you nice to people, that Allah says you're not supposed to help out. And the Friedrich Rebbe told him that that Allah is said all the way at the end of Shulchan Aruch. First learn all the beginning things and then you'll get to there. Meaning, there's a lot of important things when it comes to Yiddishkeit, but the most important thing is that you need to take care of another Jew. That's for sure a mitzvah. Now, you're saying that there's certain problems over here. Could be that you're not supposed to be so nice to this person. But do you know that that's actually the halach in this case? Do you know that's actually the proper situation over here? And do you know that you're doing it sincerely because of Shulchan Aruch and not just because you like to hit the other person? Rather, you start off doing a mitzvah, which is for sure. Help out another Jew in physicality. And then you'll end up seeing great results. Chassid didn't want to go in the ways of the Rebbe. And the number one step to doing that is following what he showed us. Follow the ways of the Rebbe, be nice to another person, and that's going to bring you a lot of blessings as well and everything that you need for your life. We should be merit to be reunited with the Rebbe right now. L'chaim, l'chaim.